Welcome to the Forex and here we're looking at the uh, US dollar and you can see that it's uh, jumped here. I think there's some news coming out of the uh, US about them cutting their, uh, their debt uh, more than expected. So, um, you know, we were expecting the rally anyway. We're in here yesterday. Um, this here looks corrective in this little section here. This rest of this here looks impulsive in terms of wave one, wave two, obviously a, a wave three gap here four and a five here. So it's probably the A wave here. But when I look in here closely, um, this is corrective in here. So a new high will be made here. Um, so this A wave may not be finished just yet, or it may be another count. The main point is, is that the 50, 60% retracement level is up here further. And with the Euro, that's at 138 and just below as well. Um, so this has got further to move to the upside. And we're still, you know, we, we could put the, um, you know, I, I could put it as, as such like this, in, in here, an A and a B and a C, but I don't want to sort of limit it just yet. Let's just see um, how the indices uh, pan out as, uh, as, as well, but uh, this has still got more upside to it. The other thing too is that um, we knew that the market was oversold deeply here, and that's still the case as well. So, you know, we need to be looking um, higher for, for, for this uh, market. And also with the euro here, we'll be looking lower as well. I know that this is just a four hour chart here. I know that, um, you know, the market was over bought up here as well and it's still overboard as well so and i know that we can count this back down through here as as an abc um, but it, it's also got an edge to it as well as a five wave structure so we should see it um, you know, move down further uh, into the 138 uh, and, and, and below here where the 61 point re uh, re retracement is. So we're still looking for a larger sort of correction to come into uh, play uh, here as such. And um, I was, when I was counting this down here from wave three or C high up through here, it does count impulsively as down for one, uh, back for two, three, four here, and then wave five down through here. But as I mentioned with the um, US dollar, from its high, I said it looked corrective internally and it's got higher to go. Well, this is the same case here as well. So I can see that this is still um, cascading to the downside. So the 138 will give it some support, but the 50, 60, 1.8 retracement comes in around this sort of area through here. So uh, still overbought at this price here. Uh, still, you know, no evidence of any upside here is more the point. Uh, and this cascading to the downside uh, further here. So new lows will be made here. The Australian dollar platform chucking a wobbly there I've got too many charts open or must be the full moon um, the Australian dollar look what we pointed out the other day was that this move down through here is corrective so that means that whatever happens here is corrective so um, yes it after this little ABC here, it could have pushed straight up through there, just don't know. But it, it appears now that this particular um, uh, pattern through here, it, it, it appears corrective as well in terms of an A and a B and a C wave that's not quite finished just yet because that would be up for one here, a little ABC back for two, the third wave and the fourth wave and the fifth wave up through to here. And then likely an, uh, the, the C basically, sorry about that, basically uh, let me give you some drawing tools here what we're looking for here is a larger a wave abc for the b wave and then the c wave down here and then a move up through here so that's what we're looking for so if you see that it'll be quite safe to buy through here um chuck a bit of sold over my shoulder but um and that because of this three wave correction through here so that's what we're looking for but you really um want to put you know most of the positions in um, on support up through here. Now, if I'm wrong and it doesn't pan out like that, then we would be looking for, um, as always, um, uh, 9430, the top of group one we want. So if we get a tested support on top of group one, then you know that the orders have, have um, are unsticking from 94 
and they will move, they will start looking up uh, higher through here. But it um, needs to be tested support. The, the, these breaks up here, they're not tested, are they? The breakout's important as part of the process, but the retest is, like here, the retest is more important. Uh, and then, you know, looking for a trigger to the upside, and that's what you're looking for over here or on top of here. But I think this is the bias here. Um, there's a bit of an opportunity in the Australian yen as well, if I can just bring this up here. Um, just move this. We'd been looking for a correction across here, and it's in it's in more uh, more more developed now as well in terms of an A and a B and a C here. So this can also break to the upside as well. So um, we'll be looking for new highs above here on the on the um, the Aussie yen here. Um, getting back into the uh, Euro um, Aussie that we follow, just on the twenty minute chart here. Just we knew that it would break lower, and um, this is it breaking lower uh, from here. And we we're looking at shorting it from the 772 here. And uh, if you've done that, terrific. Then you can move your stop down just above the um, the uh, one four. You don't want to put it at 20, so 33 here. Uh, you could probably even put it a bit lower. But um, look, we're just looking for. Um, I mean, that can be wave four in here, all said and done, but it just looks a bit bit small. Um, but if it's not there, it will be here uh, as such. Um, and then we'll look for wave four. And um, that's, I mean, if we make a new low here, if we make a new low here, then we've got to bring that guy in. Then we've got to bring this dude over here and... Um, uh, the, this wave four here bounce off. This 146.50 is important. 65 is always important. And it's, in this case, too, I think it's a low over here. So it is. So um, there will be support there. So we from here, we could see a wave four come back to the wave four of one lesser degree before we see a move down uh, here. And this move down through here, this length here, would be roughly the same length as this here. So we're looking for five waves down here, the one, the two three, four, and five. I know on the weekly chart that um, it's becoming very um, oversold at this stage here. So we are looking for um, for a buying opportunities, you know, but it's just not there yet. This is continues to cascade down, but um, we just need to uh, stay with it, uh, see how it develops. Um, but we're on the short side, you can stay short. The, um, a bit of a relook on the, on the, uh, the other yen crosses the pound yen and the euro yen and you know that um, we've been just on the daily chart here we've been working across here and you know we've, we've had a few sort of analysis shots at this here and we're still continuing with that as well and you know, that's the problem with wave fours, and this has always been a wave four problem. We had wave four here originally because we did have an A and a B and a C here and it pulled back to the 38% and everything was pretty rosy. Then we got this move up here, which mm, counted better as a corrective wave, but could be counted as a as an impulse wave too and still could be. Um, but the best fit that we've got now is a, is a larger triangle pattern uh, occurring across here. Um, with each move, each the triangle's always in five waves, an A, B, C, D, and E, five waves, but each wave uh, internally is in three waves. So we've got that uh, reasonably clearly so far. So from the B here would be an A and a B and a C here for the C wave and then for the D wave. And then the, so it's basically this, this, you know, is diminishing in time here and we'll be looking to uh, go long in the E wave uh, here uh, as such but even if this does pull back into this area if it does pull back into this area through here you need to navigate the 170 for that um, then we could start taking some long-term positions from here and adding on on uh, on these lows coming through here We're looking for the push up to the 180 okay um, so yeah look not a lot going on in here this just on the four hour chart looking at the count as well as I mentioned we've got the A wave the B wave here and three and we're looking for a C wave to come here but it's not really letting go of the 170 here so you could only short this if that 170 was a retested resistance uh, in here we'll be looking for five waves down through here so anyway I just want to see how that develops before we get in there and start calling shots on that and this is the same for the euro yen as well um, the same sort of triangle moving across uh, here. Um, so 
just basically damn messy and um, it's probably better off looking at uh, other markets for the for the time being or for the next two weeks at least so um, yeah look I won't go into detail on, on those ones uh, so alrighty well uh, that's it cheers <laughs>